I am here for something else. Bread. I already have boyfriend. 35 years ago, Panera Bread grew from a single cookie shop into a chain of over 2,000 bakery cafes. Although I could make exception. No, that's... These days, Panera employs 10,000 employees and rakes in more than $5 billion a year. This chain of eateries is all about embracing change to meet the needs of customers. Flower sacks in back, very comfortable. If you're a Panera fan, you'll enjoy discovering the top 10 untold truths of Panera Bread. Oh, take number. But I'm the only one here. Panera Bread, an origin story. I don't think we are on the same page. During the 80s, the company's founder, Ron Shake, owned a cookie store and decided to merge it with a bakery. The end result was Obon Pang Co. Inc. A short time later, he and his business partner, Louis Kane, who has now passed away, began to visualize a new direction, which included more than cookies and croissants. I think. <laughs> They wanted to sell sandwiches with upscale appeal. By 1991, Obon Pang Co. Inc. was successful enough to be traded publicly. In 1993, the company acquired the St. Louis Bread Company, which had 19 shops. By the mid-1990s, a lot of people were looking for food that wasn't typical processed fast food fare. Yeah, I can't say croissant. Oh my god! <laughs> Ron wanted to provide these kinds of customers with real food, which was served by respectful staff in a welcoming environment. He decided to rebrand the St. Louis Bread Company as Panera, and the rest is history. The chain of bakery cafes was now poised to go national. During 1998, Ron realized that Panera was loaded with potential, but needed more resources. At this point, he chose to sell off his Obon Pang Co. Inc. division and put the proceeds into expanding Panera. The good news is that you no longer have to speak struggle French to say where you're going for lunch. His dream of turning Panera into a popular national chain came true. Panera is known for its wholesome foods, which are free of trans fats, artificial colors, and artificial preservatives. Salads, soups, sandwiches, and baked goods at Panera are definitely comfort food. It's better for you nutritionally, it's better for your digestive system, and it tastes much better. Checking us out for the first time? Then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And I bake bread, 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 <clears throat> and I sweat. Panera once renamed a soup at Chrissy Teigen's request. Banana bread, baby. Oh, nice. You're already cooking banana bread. I am. Oh. Chrissy is always outspoken on social media, and food is one of her favorite topics. She's a cookbook author, after all. When Panera asked the Food and Drug Administration to clarify what egg means in food for sale, because the bakery cafe chain's VIPs believe that only actual eggs should be labeled as eggs, Meat is murder. Chrissy agreed with them. She then suggested jokingly that Panera should rename its popular broccoli cheddar soup Delicious Cream Times. Panera obliged and then proceeded to send Chrissy containers of broccoli cheddar soup that featured delicious cream times labels. That was pretty funny, and of course, Chrissy tweeted about it. For a while, the company also changed the name of the soup at its official website. The name wasn't changed at the restaurants. These days, delicious cream time soup is called broccoli cheddar soup again, but Chrissy can always remember the good times. Five cheeseburgers and five McChicken for a dollar each. Yes, exactly. Thanks. Panera was once the USA's largest provider of free Wi-Fi. Wiffy, or is it wifey? You probably don't know that Panera was, at one time, the biggest provider of 100% free Wi-Fi hotspots in America. Panera was the perfect place for people with mobile devices to hang out. They can enjoy fresh baked bread, other healthy fare, and free web connections. These days, most larger chain restaurants do provide free Wi-Fi to customers, but that wasn't always the case. Panera was on the cutting edge in terms of offering the ultimate in internet connectivity to patrons. Naturally, the company still offers free Wi-Fi to customers, in addition to great food. To connect to free Wi-Fi at Panera, you won't need to get a password or special code from a server. Mark, I'm not speaking in code. Erica. If you're using a laptop while you're at the restaurant, you will need to enable the wireless adapter on your computer. When it is enabled, accessing free Wi-Fi should be very easy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you the internet. <laughs> Panera bakes their bread fresh every day. I'll bet they won't have 
Wow, they have it. Let's get this bread. Panera is beloved in large part because of its fresh baked bread. The restaurant chain bakes more bread daily than any other similar eatery. Skilled bakers make each and every loaf from scratch using premium ingredients. Dough, which is also made by Panera staff members, is delivered each day in trucks to each Panera location, and the in-store bakers take it from there. Panera is all about best quality breads, and this is one of the reasons why people get addicted to their food. Panera's artisan approach to bread making is something that discerning customers appreciate. The little ones, you know, you could use like for jewelry or something. Panera fans enjoy savoring bread that is aromatic, fresh baked, and made with the good stuff, rather than a lot of processed ingredients. Employees who know everything about the restaurant do have preferences from the menu, and it's no surprise that their preferences include fresh baked bread. One staff favorite is the steak and arugula sandwich, which is meaty and filling, with a unique flavor profile. The modern caprese sandwich is also a big hit, thanks to its tasty tomato confit and pesto, and it's a meat-free option. Employees also also enjoy noshing on Tex-Mex-inspired chipotle chicken avocado melts. Every year, Panera sells roughly 240 million bagels and 150 million bread loaves. To make all of this fresh-baked goodness, the company needs 140 million pounds of flour annually. What better to bring happiness than food? Certain Panera menu items aren't as fresh as the bread. Delivery should look like this. Crisp leaves of lettuce, freshly made dressing. While the bread products sold at Panera are undoubtedly fresh and wholesome, you shouldn't assume that everything available at Panera is just as fresh. An employee who spilled the beans about Panera online revealed that the mac and cheese is pre-made and arrives at Panera locations frozen in bags. It's then heated up in a microwave or in boiling water. Maybe you are a fast food restaurant. Also, a staff member has passed on a little tip about avocados at Panera. They are still nice and fresh, around lunchtime, but tend to sit around for hours afterwards if unused in menu items. So for the freshest avocado experience, order this ingredient at lunchtime and avoid it further on in the day. Looks like it's gonna be safe. Bear in mind that reports from employees may not always be true. They are generally anonymous reports, so there's no way to be sure that they aren't just stories rather than facts. I wanna know who I'm talking to. That's not what you said. Panera has a community cafe for the needy. Let's face it, you treated me like dirt. Oh, Lord, another wild and woolly one. The Panera Cares Cafe is a community cafe. It was created to help the needy. It's a nonprofit community cafe run by a public charity called the Panera Bread Foundation. It's not just about eating kale and carrots all day long. The cafe addresses an important issue, which is hunger in the community. Statistics from the United States Department of Agriculture show that one in seven USA households have trouble affording enough food for household members at some point during the year. Can you, can you help change it? I'm going to help change it. What are you it? gonna do? To help out, the team at Panera established a charitable foundation and then opened Panera Cares Cafes, which operate via a pay-what-you-can model. Each Panera Cares menu item has a suggested donation amount. This amount indicates the retail value of the menu item, which is based on the cost of operating expenses and the cost of feeding patrons who can't make donations. Customers who don't make the suggested donation amounts are limited to ordering one drink and entree each week. Those who can't contribute to their meals may earn meal vouchers by donating an hour of their time per week as volunteers. Of course, it's going to cost a lot to run these pay-what-you-can community cafes. While most customers will be honorable, there are also those who may game the system. You're a cheater. So what? I used cheat codes back in the day to help me dominate. Because the cost of running Panera Cares Cafes is so high, the Panera Bread Foundation had to close some of the cafes down. The truth is that Panera closed all but one down. Only the Boston location remains open. Initially, the Panera Cares concept was meant to be self-sustaining. Unfortunately, most of the cafes were losing money. The self-sustaining model just wasn't working. While the concept of Panera Cares is noble and beautiful, it was a social experiment that couldn't sustain itself. Hopefully, the Boston Panera Cares location will stay open. Go on, take it. <laughs> Panera gets a high rating for healthy food. If you want better nutritional options, I tell you, demand it. Panera was created as an alternative to greasy and unhealthy fast food. This is a bakery cafe that definitely provides healthy options to customers. If you're health conscious and weight conscious, you should consider ordering the Caesar salad with grilled chicken or the black bean soup.
Other impressively healthy menu items at Panera include steel-cut oatmeal with almonds, quinoa and honey, strawberry poppy seed salad with chicken, and the Mediterranean veggie sandwich. The avocado, egg white, and spinach sandwich is also a good option. If you're craving a turkey sandwich, order a roasted turkey and avocado BLT. All of this food sounds great, doesn't it? Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! <laughs> It's wholesome food that isn't laden with artificial ingredients, major fat gram counts, and high calories. It's quite possible to eat healthy at Panera. The restaurant chain's mission was to provide healthy choices for customers who were looking for something better for their bodies than fast food. While every menu item at Panera isn't as healthy as the ones we've listed today, there are lots of healthy menu items to choose from. You get fat. No, why would I get fat? Bread makes you fat. Bread makes you fat? Panera posted calorie counts before other eateries did. We're about to find out the number of the day! Panera was a trailblazer in terms of providing customers with calorie counts for its menu items. The bakery cafe chain offered this important information to patrons long before most restaurant chains did. These days, people are a lot more informed about calorie counts in food than they used to be. Many people are on special diets, such as keto diets, and want calorie counts in addition to full nutritional information. Liquid diet? She must have lost 70 pounds. Panera delivers by being completely transparent about what's in the food that it sells. Since this company is all about wholesome food that isn't filled with unhealthy ingredients, the company has always been proud to share calorie count information with its customers. Panera may have started a trend, as it's rare nowadays for an eatery not to share calorie count information. Panera was also the first restaurant chain to share whole grain content information with customers. Also, in 2004, Panera removed antibiotics from their chicken supply and started a new, clean food program in 2016. Ooh, Alan, did you just eat sofa pizza? Panera's open and honest approach to informing customers is admirable. You know, 11 years ago, people thought we were crazy. There are higher calorie options on the Panera menu. It's actually really good garlic bread. Garlic bread is my favorite food. I could honestly eat it for every meal. Yes, you can go low-cal at Panera, but you don't have to. If you're looking for more calories, you'll have no trouble finding something to order at this bakery cafe chain. Some menu items look deceptively healthy, but have more calories and fat grams than you might expect. Little trouble there. One example is the Fuji apple salad with chicken. This salad has 570 calories plus 34 fat grams, 7 grams of which come from saturated fat. It also has 580 milligrams of sodium and 36 grams of carbs. But you will get 29 grams of protein when you order this tasty salad. While the chicken used in this menu item is raised antibiotic-free, this salad with chicken and apples is not the healthiest Panera option. Another menu item with a fairly high calorie count is the Cinnamon Crunch Bagel. It contains 430 calories, 7 grams of fat, 4.5 grams of which come from saturated fat, 380 milligrams of sodium, and a whopping 82 grams of carbs. Not, not quite my temple. If you put a topping on your Cinnamon Crunch Bagel and lots of people opt for cream cheese toppings, the overall calorie and fat gram count is going to soar even higher. What's most unhealthy about the Cinnamon Crunch Bagel is its sugar count. It contains 32 grams of sugar. That's the equivalent of 8 teaspoons of white sugar. Sure, there are times when it's fun to indulge in foods that aren't as healthy as other menu item options. However, it's always good to know which menu items are not diet friendly. If you want a low calorie option at Panera, you should avoid the delicious mac and cheese, too. New England clam chowder and the Italian on a hoagie roll are also not the healthiest options for weight-conscious customers. Could it be? Break! It's all that I could manage to get for you. <laughs> Small fountain drinks are refillable at Panera. Oh, excuse me, can I get a refill, please? Coming right up. One interesting fact to be aware of is that the small fountain drink at Panera is an awesome deal because it's refillable. If you usually order bigger fountain drinks, scale back by going for a small. You may refill it if you're still thirsty when your cup is empty. While free refills are available, the company believes that patrons need nutritional information about these drinks. Panera management want customers to know just how much sugar and how many calories may be lurking in their fave soft drinks. Do you get free refills with that? 
This is why Panera became the first restaurant chain to post sugar and calorie counts right on their soda machines. The founder of Panera says that he's not anti-soft drink. However, he believes that customers need nutritional information so that they can make informed decisions. We've got options for you, too. Even hotter. Much, much hotter. Option one, stay right here and click on another one of our great videos. Option two, find out how to become an official Babble Topper by clicking on the join link in the description below.